Hi, this is Mish, or Mick, whatever you want to call me, and I'm going to talk to you about how helping people might actually hurt them. So what do I mean by that? I mean help in the sense of, of getting, you know, always getting someone out of a bind or, or making someone dependent on you. I learned this because I was really dependent on my parents. And when my dad passed away five years ago, there was, there was no more dependence. My mom gave me the freedom to, to go out and live and learn. And I was able to make so many mistakes over the last five years that it brought me to where I am today, you know, talking to this camera. What did, what did I really learn? I learned that I was able to just go out and, and you know, try things at work or try things at life or try things with partying or try all kinds of things and not having anyone prevent me from doing so. Were they all amazing decisions that I made? No, I, I made a lot of terrible decisions. But I was only able to learn from those terrible decisions once I look back having, you know, understood what I did. If I never did those things, I would never have learned what I know today. So what I'm saying by helping people is, is I don't know, let's say you have a, a sibling or a family member or a friend who's, who's always in a bind and is always in trouble and you always bail them out and you always bail them out. Then they become accustomed to the bailout and they will always come to you to get bailed out. Therefore, you're making them depend on you. You're forever burdened by that. And if you don't bail them out, what's the worst that's going to happen? They're going to have to figure out something else. So the whole idea here is, I know I'm jumping a little bit, but allowing people to fend for themselves who have the ability to fend for themselves, just let it happen. In my experience, the more that I've crashed and burned and the closer I've gotten to the edge, the, the more lessons I've been able to learn. So by always helping people out, you're not actually helping them, you're preventing them from living and learning and actually figuring it out. And you end up hurting yourself, they become dependent on you, they take advantage of you because they know that you'll, you know, get out of jail free card. So I wrote a blog about this and I compared it to, I was on that side of the spectrum too from, you know, growing up and kind of being put in a bubble from my parents, you know, really overprotective. They're only doing their best, right? They don't want to see their kids go through anything bad. But once I was out there in the world, I'd inevitably have to face the realities. And when I did, it hit me in the face. So the idea of preventing people from, from experiencing is essentially what's happening when you're, you're helping them out. You're not really helping them or you're not being a really good person you're creating more dependence on yourself. And that, that's what I saw. So by my parents helping me and being really nice to me and, and you know, uh, overprotecting me, they end up, you know, making me kind of useless or, or friends or family that I have that let's say I was taking care of. And I'm not just talking about financially, I'm talking about emotionally, people that you, you talk to and you care about and you want them to do great things. If you want it more than they do, you'll always be let down because they have to want it. They have to go out and do it. So I learned that I had to just do what I needed to do and, and not really worry about anyone else. Everyone else would really be better off if I just let them be. Sure, at first it's a shock. Oh my God, you're, you're bad. You're this, you're that. You're not a good person. But actually, I think I am because I want the best for everyone. And me, me trying to, to live for everyone else is, is not the best. First of all, who am I to think that I can be the best for someone else? Who am I to think that I know better? The only things I know is what I've learned. So what can I really recommend is, you know, you go out and you learn for yourself. So, so that idea of helping and protecting is not really that good. I, I understand, look, you're going to take care of your baby and your kid, but just like in the jungle, when the, ki when the, when the babies are, are ready to go, the mothers just let them go. If the mothers protected the babies until they were full adults, as soon as they'd go out into the jungle, they'd be dead. But they have to go learn, you know, to eat the little squirrels or the, I don't know, jungle squirrels or whatever the hell they are, so that they can build up that immunity so that they can fend for themselves. But the longer we try to prevent someone from going out there, the worse off they'll be 
once they get there because they never had the opportunity to, to build that thick skin. And in the last five years, with all that freedom I've had, I've, I've developed quite a, a thick skin and, and a good, uh, I guess, a, a good idea of myself and what's going on around me, only because I've been able to experience a lot of different things. So yeah, helping people might actually hurt them. So take it for what it is, but it's, it's something that, that has really rung true to me recently. And, and I really think it's, it's important to, to trust the people that we love around us. Instead of trying to live for them, living for them almost means I don't think you're capable, so I'm gonna do it for you. When essentially, if you raise your kids right, or you're, you're good with your friends and you have a great relationship with your brother or your cousin or your girlfriend or whoever it is, then obviously you, you trust that you trust them and you know that they can do great things. But trying to do it for them is saying that you can do it better than them. And who's I to say that? So that's pretty much it. Hope you dig it. Uh, Omic.com for the blogs and the music. Have yourself a great day. Later.